Hi, welcome to Patent CV. I'm your host, Jenna Falbush, and today I have Jennifer Marion here from CCS Presentation Systems, a CIM integration company, and she's going to show us the smart table and some apps on it and how we could use it in the classroom. So welcome, Jennifer. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Thanks for having me. Yes, today I'm going to show you a functional life skills activity that you would find in the classroom typically. And so in order to get there, we would have to use either a jump drive or a five finger hold. And so I'm just going to pop in this jump drive here to one of the available USB slots on the smart table. And here I'm, I'm just going to show you that I'm set up right now for two users, but I could add or remove users just by using the toggles, the plus and minus. I'm going to now go into the activity packs where on my USB drive, I have an activity. First, we have the multiple choice activity. It can be um, majority rules. It could also be first responder or it could be all have to be correct. Now, right now, this one's set up to be all correct. Sort the pictures into two groups. Files. In one and group, put the clothes you wear during the summer. In the other group, put clothes so that you wear at other times of the year. If I drop in this, notice it bounces out. Now let's go into hotspots. So hotspots is set up a little bit differently. So we're dragging the correct items to the actual dot. And when we get it there, it's not going to move. Okay. So we know we're going to be correct. So we're looking for the pairs. Look at the pieces of summer clothing. Put the pieces together to make clothing that you would wear in the summer. So I might take this other half of the dress and drag it and notice that when I get it there, I can't move it. So we're just going to work together to make that happen. I'll throw that your way. Right. And then as we go through it, if there were other activities, we would then see those next activities or it would just bring us back to the main screen okay. interface. Now we're going to go to hot spaces. Sort the pictures into two groups. As you can see, it's giving us directions at the beginning to sort the pictures into two groups the summer and the winter group. And so we're going to drag those in until we, are, we know we've added everything in. And when we are correct, you're going to see a purple border appear. Okay. So I'm going to throw that your way and drop this in. We'll see if this is summer. See how the poor purple border appeared? And voila, I know I'm correct. And then it moved on to the next activity that we can also continue to do this. So I see, you know, this board we could use, if you have a wheelchair, you could pull right up to it. Students could stand at it or kneel or sit, however, whatever is comfortable. Absolutely. And then teachers, I guess, on wheels, we could move this classroom to classroom, right? They could share it. It could be done, um, purchased for grade level or individual classrooms. Yes, and it's best used in preschool through third grade, but I have seen it being used with older grades where they actually customize the lesson activities for younger grade students. Okay. So it helps reinforce their skills sets. Absolutely by then reinforcing the younger grade skill uh -huh. sets. Fantastic. Could you show us maybe um, one more activity, like a different type of sure, um, absolutely. application? In order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my jump drive again, which can be plugged into any USB drive on, around the table perimeter. And then I would go into the activity packs. Here, again, I can access from my table content, which is um, any lesson activity that I have saved directly to the table. I also can um, access one from my USB drive, and I can go to the Smart Exchange, which is uh, via the web. And so if I wanted to do a search for a specific activity, I could do that as well. The next activity I'm going to talk about is Paint. Paint is, again, giving us the ability uh, for multiple users to pick a selected color here on the side. We can also clear our screen. So if we've written, we can use our little starburst to clear. And that would eliminate and move on to another activity. Or we can annotate with multiple fingers, or we can erase by holding down um, either a finger or a fist to erase. And so what we're doing is we're circling an item that is, has to do with summer. Okay. So we can even pick a rainbow pen if we want to pick a rainbow pen. So we can go through, and you and I can work together. You can also have up to eight activities simultaneously. You might see some duplicate activities as we're doing this, but again, the activities can be customized. So you could have eight different table activities within a table subset. It's amazing what you can do with it in the classroom. And um, how could we contact you if we want to know more information? If you contact me before September 30th, 2016, we'll work with you on a promotional price. You can reach us at cimav.com.